In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys just how quick and easy it is to make ChatGPT plugins using this insane prompt template that I've created. I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can create these plugins with ChatGPT to do all the hard work for you so that you can just copy and paste it over to Replit and start using your own plugins. Now, if you haven't already watched my beginner's guide to building your first ChatGPT plugin, which is gonna be available up here, you should probably go and watch that first because in that video, I talk through step by step of the different ingredients needed to create a ChatGPT plugin. So that's all the theory and sort of understanding that you need to have before building these because in this video, we're gonna be running through it a bit faster and doing these reps a bit quicker just to get a bit more familiarity with how these things are made. Now, as of filming this video, ChatGPT plugins is still in early access. So many people still don't have access to it, but I urge you as I did in my previous video that you need to start practicing how to build these now because as soon as everyone gets access to it, it's gonna to be too late and the competition is just gonna be fighting the market. So. You have an advantage now, follow these videos of someone like me who has access and just get really familiar with the different ingredients to build one of these things and how they piece together so that you can get ahead of the game and have some ready to go and ready to start on your plugins account as soon as you get access. Because as I keep saying on the channel, I think plugins could be one of the biggest opportunities for entrepreneurs and for developers looking to make money in AI, looking to start building businesses on this brand new computing platform that we have access to now. Enough chatting, let's get stuck into building some plugins with this mega prompt that I've created. So on screen here, you can see the different parts of the mega prompt. Essentially, we're starting off saying, create me a chat GPT plugin with the following specifications. So we have a general project scope, some example prompts you expect the user to be putting in, some info for the for the API endpoints, just a little bit more specific about what the app is going to expect from ChatGPT, and then some functionality limits just to put some guardrails so that ChatGPT doesn't go too broad in the scope of the app. Then we need to paste some API documentation in from the API we want to use within the plugin. So for most of these quick little ones I work up, I tend to choose something like a Rotten Tomatoes API or a weather API or a crypto API. So just one API that we can interact with, get information, process that and give it back to the user. I find that's the best sort of simple use case you can do to start getting familiar with how to build these. And then some other admin like your Replit username, the name of the Replit that you're creating. And as I did in my beginner's guide for ChatGPT plugins, we are going to be hosting this on Replit. Quick and easy way to get it up and running. So we do have some information here just to give it the right uh, username and name of the Replit so that it can replace our URLs. Then I've pasted it in a main.py file example for ChatGPT to learn from, which is actually a plugin that I created that is a simple crypto assistant that will tell you the prices of coins and, and what, what's the change over the past couple of days, etc. So just sending it a bit more example and context of what these kind of plugins look like, because obviously it doesn't understand what a ChatGPT plugin is unless you show it what the code looks like. And then at the bottom, we have a few different notes that I've added in. As I've sort of tested this prompt out, I've found out different places that it goes wrong. So each of these bullet points is essentially just a little edit to make sure that it, it gives you guys the right output on the first time. And then finally, we say, now I need you to create the main.py file for my plugin name. So here's a another placeholder that you need to replace with your plugin name, provide only the code ready for me to paste directly into Replit. So now you're familiar with the prompt template and the sort of ingredients we need to put into it. Now we need to come up with a idea for our chat GPT plugin. So as I tend to do, I've just asked GPT-4, what are some chat GPT plugins I can use based on a publicly facing API that I can get access to? So what I've gone down here and as I've found a news aggregator plugin, which sounds pretty cool, connects to a news API, provides the latest news articles, da, 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 da. So this is going to connect to a news API, take in some information from the user and give them back news articles that are real time and up to date. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do before you start filling out the prompt template is just make sure you know what API you want to use. So here I have an example that said a EG news API. So I'm just going to take that news API and check this out. So. This is all good stuff because we're gonna be able to copy and paste this into that section of the prompt that needs the documentation. So this is the functionality we're gonna need within the app, which is search for news articles that mention a specific topic or keyword. So we're gonna be looking to copy and paste this into our prompt. So I've just gone ahead and filled out this entire prompt template with information to create this news plugin. So here we go from the top, I'm calling it Easy News. This is the scope of the app, a plugin that connects to news API to provide the latest news articles and headlines based on user-defined topics and date ranges. Users can ask for news on a particular topic, e.g. crypto or politics on a specific date or over a range of dates, e.g. over the past week. So I'm being very specific here about the kind of functionality, really keeping it narrow so the chat GPT doesn't get lost in interpretation. And then I have a few examples of the kind of prompts that I expect users to be giving it, which is give me a summary of today's news and AI or what happened yesterday in crypto news. So sort of summaries over a date range or on a specific date. And then here's where I've had to be quite specific about the kind of information that we are expecting on our app side. So I'm expecting that the chat GPT is going to be sending to our application via an API request, which is going to be providing a topic that the users asked for, e.g. give me a summary of AI news. So that's going to be the topic that chat GPT extracts from the prompt. 
and then also a date from and a date to. So that's going to allow us to deal with ranges. So if people ask for, give me a summary on last week's news in crypto, it's going to be able to go, okay, last week was this date, date from and date to. And one of those guardrails that I've added in here is that users are not able to ask for specific sources in this version. So I can build them later, but I think for now, I just want to keep it as sort of bare bones as possible for you guys and get this thing up and running. And that was where I pasted in the documentation for the news API. So I've just gone over to the news API here and taken a whole bunch of the docs from here. As you can see, it's got all sorts of stuff in the response here, but copy and pasted this into the news API section here. As you can see, I've got a bunch of different information here, get requests and responses. I've gone down and given my Replit username, my, the name of the plugin, and then I've provided it with that same main.py file as an example. And finally, I've replaced the name down the bottom with ED News, which is the name of my app. So I'm gonna copy all of this. Now we open up a new ChatGPT window here. We're gonna be using GPT-4. If you don't have the pro version, I seriously recommend that you do because it is much better and I almost haven't been able to use GPT 3.5 for a lot of stuff. I use it when I need it to be fast, but for a lot of this important stuff, I just can't really do it anymore. So paste the prompt in and submit it. And now we just wait for ChatGPT to write us our plugin. Now there we go, ChatGPT's written us the entire application ready to go and it looks pretty good to me. So what we're going to do is copy this and head over to Replit and create a new REPL. So we just go up to the top corner here and go create REPL Python and we're going to call it news plugin. And then once it's all booted up, we need to go to our main.py file and we can just paste this right in here. Looking good. Then I can see already that it's asking us to put our API key here so I can head back to the documentation here and get my API key and change that variable there. Now what I'd normally do just as a best practice to make sure that the APIs are working correctly uh, is actually take this fetch news function and go over to a Colab notebook or a Jupyter notebook and paste it in there and just check that the functionality is working to ensure your API key is working. You're able to get the response back it's all working as expected because then uh, you don't actually run into more problems down the line, which I've, I've done before by not doing the, the proper work at the start. So I'd urge you to test all the functions first so they work sort of in isolation before you try to run the whole thing or you're going to be stuck in this loop of trying to build it over and over again and not knowing what's going wrong. Now to show you guys that I do take my own advice, I have popped over to a Jupyter Notebook here and just double check that we are able to get a response and that these dates are working, etc. So the functionality is working. Now we're good to continue moving forward and get our manifest file written and our open API definition created. So the next step is to take this application file that we've created and use this as a reference in order to create a manifest file for us. So copy this, copy your entire main.py and head back to ChatGPT. So here on screen, what we have is the next step of this prompt template that I've created. So it's essentially just saying, now I need you to create a manifest file for my plugin. Here are the open AI docs on how to create a manifest file. So I've got this, and then I've pasted in the documentation from OpenAI's own website, pasted all of that in there. And then I've also gone, here is my application, pasted in the app that we just copied from Replit. And then I've said, write a manifest file for my Easy News app. So now we can copy this, head back to ChatGPT, paste it in and submit it. And just like that, GPT-4 has created our plugin manifest. Just had a quick look over it and it seems good to me. It's got my correct URL here, so we can copy this head back to our replit and create a new file, ai-plugin.json. Should be getting familiar with this process now if you've watched previous videos of mine. We can save that, save this. Now we need to do the same thing, but for our open API definition. So let's create the file now, openapi.yaml. Now, if you're stuck there wondering what these files are and why I'm creating them, then you need to go and check out my beginner's guide to creating a ChatGPT plugin, which I walk through this process slowly and explain what each of these files do so that you're aware of the different ingredients you need to create one of these. Now, finally, we have essentially the same thing, but for the open API definition, which is the final ingredient here. So what you can do is just copy and paste this in, but essentially I'm saying, write me an open API definition. Here are the open AI docs. And I pasted all of this in from the open AI documentation. And then I provided an example. Here's an example of a working open API definition from a plugin that I made previously. So this is a, a crypto plugin that I made previously, as I mentioned. So this one is working. It's another example to make sure that it knows what it's doing. And then I've pasted in again, here is my application. So just pasted it in from Replit. And then finally, my app's URL is news-plugin.liamotley.ripple.co and write me an open API definition for my app, provide only the code. So we can copy this over to ChatGPT now. And then we have it, ChatGPT's written this YAML file for us, so we can go up and copy this over. It looks good enough to me, so we can paste this in, save it, and make sure that this URL up here is correct, which is, uh, yep, that seems to be right to me. And now we're ready to run this application, see if we can connect it to ChatGPT and add it as a plugin. So to run it, you can just click the big green button at the top, and that's gonna run your Ripple, downloading a few things, and the application is booted up correctly. So this link is our base URL for application and these local files that we have here, the plugin.json and the YAML file, those are being served, allowing ChatGPT to interact with them and read them through these app routes down here. So we need to copy the base URL, 
and provide that to ChatGPT so we can go back, new chat. Now you guys might not be able to do this step, but I'm sure you will soon. We go to plugins mode and then we go to plugin store, develop your own plugin, paste this in. And we have two green ticks, which is great to see. It's validated the manifest is working correctly and it's validated our open API spec. So we can go next now, install for me, continue. And we get to try out our plugin. So I'll make sure none of the other things here are turned on. Turn on my easy news plugin. So what I've asked it is give me a bullet point summary of last week's financial news. And luckily it's actually realized that it needs to use the plugin, which is step one. So it's triggered the use of it. And as you can see here, you can open it up and actually see what it's sending off as a request to our application. So there we have our parameters, which is finance, date from, and date to. So it's determined that last week is from the 10th to the 16th. And then it sent it off and this is the response that it gets. You can see all of the different articles. And now this is essentially just giving context to a chat GPT uh, prompt that you're sending off. So all of the response that comes back, then chat GPT is actually able to manipulate all of that information and look back at what the user was asking, which is a bullet point summary, and then take the information and give it what they want. So it's really cool magic that chat GPT can do. So sometimes you can send it back a bunch of sort of unstructured data or even structured data and it's able to magically sort of answer the user's prompt from a bunch of data in an API response. And so here we have our bullet point summary. Everything's working correctly. It's put links in. And the cool thing about plugins is that it actually, if there is a link, it will actually put it embed in here. So you can click over and directly see that these are not hallucinated. These are actually real news articles that we've been able to grab here. So this can be very useful for people who are looking to sort of take all of the information from like the AI space, which is moving so fast and get up-to-date information. So that's just one example of what you can do with this prompt template that I've created. So I've taken all of the hard work out of you because there's a lot of little nitty gritty stuff that you have to make sure that these Replit applications have in them, like the routes to put the local files on. I've actually put logging in here, as you can see. So this is very helpful for knowing what's going wrong in your app and if things are triggering and when they should be triggering. So if you come to this console area, you can do a bit of debugging and it will tell you what's happening, what files are being opened up by ChatGPT, what it's doing. So this has been a very, very quick example of how you can use this prompt that I've created and done all the hard work for you by making sure it's it's got all the right things in there. So you can use this. It's gonna be available in the description for you to copy over and start using in your applications and trying to build some yourself. So as I said earlier in the video, I urge you, even if you don't have access to plugins, be sure to start playing around with them and getting familiar with how they get put together now because it could be one of the most powerful and important technological advancements and platforms that we have access to in the next few years. So it doesn't hurt to get brushed up on it and be ready for the wave of it's coming. So as always, if you have a bright idea about a ChatGPT plugin or AI application that you'd like to make, I am available as a consultant down in the description and in the comments below. And I also have my own AI development company. So if you're looking to build an application or build a plugin like this, we're actually working with a number of clients to build plugins already just to get ahead of the wave and make sure that they're ready to launch when the sort of ChatGPT plugin is available to the masses. So if you're looking to build something out, you can get in touch with me as a consultant in the description, or you can find my website at liamotley.com and get in touch with my company that way. So if you enjoy content like this about how you can build businesses and generate wealth in the AI space, that's all we talk about here on this channel. So hit down below and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one because I have a ton of ChatGPT content coming, more builds, more in-depth builds, showing you more advanced applications and also more ChatGPT business ideas. If you haven't seen my previous ChatGPT business ideas, you can check up here because that's got 10 or 12 different ChatGPT plugin ideas that you can get started on now that I think all have really great potential to be very valuable companies and potentially make you a lot of money. Now, if you're not already in my AI entrepreneurship discord, you can head down and join that via the description or the pinned comment wherein they're talking about how to build businesses with the AI, chat, GPT plugins, all the good stuff. Be sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed, it would mean the world to me, but that's all and I'll see you in the next one.